In this video, we're going to look at how we can use the iPhone to help us keep track of any medications we take. We can have it remind us as well. So we can keep a log of our medications and have it remind us when we need to take medication. This was introduced with iOS 16 through the Health app. Let's see how we do this. Let's go over to my iPhone. So I am using iOS 16. What I would like to do is add medications that I take. I get migraines. So what I would like to do is add Imitrex as a medication that I take. And then what I'm going to do in my case is I'm just going to log when I take that medication. I don't take it at any specific frequency. It's only when I get a headache. But as I create this or add this to my iPhone, you're going to see how you can add your own medications to it. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to add the medication, and we do this in our health app here. So I tap on health, and now under categories here, what you're going to see is medications. From here, what I need to do is add my medication. That's the first step. We need to add the medication that we're taking, and you may have to do this multiple times if you have multiple medications. Again, I take Imitrex, so let's go and add this. So I tap on add medication. From here, I search for that medication. So I just type in here IMI, and you're going to see that I have here Imitrex. That's what I take. From here, I select what type of medication it is. Well, it's not a nasal spray. It's a capsule. So now what I do is I go under Show More, and you're going to see Capsule. So you can select what type of medication it is as well. So now I'm going to tap on Next here. The next thing that I need to do is I need to type in the strength. Well, I take 50 milligrams at a time. Now, they're 100 milligram capsules, but I break them in half. So what I'm going to do is just go to add strength here, and I'm going to go 50 milligrams. I tap on milligrams, and now I've added my strength or set my strength for this medication. Now what I need to do is I need to set the frequency. You're going to see that by default it is set for every day. Well, I only take this when it is ad needed, but if you have a medication that you need to take at specific times, this is where you go and set it. So what I'm going to do is just go as needed, and then I will log it every time I get a migraine and take an Imitrex. And then I can always go to the health app to see how often I take those Imitrex. And I can even show that to my doctor. So I'm just going to go with as needed here. I tap on done. And now, I tap on next, and I have to choose the shape. This is so we can easily identify the pill when we're looking at it in the health app. So the pill looks like this one here, a little triangle. So I'm going to tap on next. Also, it is white, so I'm going to leave it white, but we can change the color as well. So I'm going to go with next here. And then I type in the name. Now again, I take half a pill, so I'm just going to Go with half, Imitrex. It'll be more accurate when I go and select this then. I could go and add notes. I'm just going to leave that blank. Tap on Done. And now I go to Done here. And we can see we have my medication. It's all set. If I wanted to add more medication, I could do that as well. Now, the last step that I'd like to do is I like to add this as a favorite, the add medication as a favorite. What do I mean by that? Well, when we go over to summary here, what you're going to see is a summary. You're going to see favorites. I don't want to have to scroll through all of these different categories here to find medication. What I would like to do is just go to the first tab here, and if I have a migraine or I need to take medication, I'd like to find it under my favorites here. This is my last step. So now I just go over to edit here, and then what I do is I go over to all here, and when I swipe up, what you're going to see is medications. So now what I need to do is I need to tap on the star, and now that is favorited. So when I tap on done here, you're going to see under my favorites, I have medications. So now I have a headache. I want to take an Imitrex. Actually, I want to take a half of an Imitrex. So what do I do? Well, if I was at my home screen here, what I would do is I would go to my health app, and then I would go over to my medications. 
you would see all of your different medications. I just have this one here. From here, I tap on it, and then I will just go and log it. When I log it, all I have to do is just tap on taken, but before I do that, what I'm going to do is tap on this and just go one half, or I'm going to go 0.5 actually. I tap on taken, tap on done, and now we can see that I took a half a pill on this specific date. And then what I'm able to do is view this by month, by week, I can view it by six months, I can see if I'm seeing a pattern. Maybe I can see what is causing those migraines by looking at when I get these headaches. And then of course I can also show this to my doctor. If I want to see the details here, I can go to show all data. If I want to archive this, maybe I no longer need it, I can tap on archive. And then if I want to delete it and start over, I can tap on delete. Now when you take medication, I'm going to go back over to here medications. What you can also do is see if there's any drug interaction. So if you have multiple medications in here, the iPhone will tell you if there's any, or the health app will tell you if there's any interactions between your different drugs. So that's how we can now keep track of what medications were taken. We can schedule a medication. We can also take it as needed. We just log when we've taken that medication. This is all done through the Health app and it was introduced with iOS 16. You can get reminders or in my case, what I'm able to do is just log it and then I can see if there's any patterns. And I can also show that to my doctor to see if they could help me. So that's how you can add medications or keep track of your medications that you've taken on the iPhone with iOS 16.